for the tape, your name, how old you are, and how old you were in 1998. Uh, my name is Brent Moe. I am uh, currently 45 years old. Uh, and in 1998, I was 32 years old. Okay. Um, what is your hometown? My hometown is currently Jasper, Texas. I was born in uh, Abbeville, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. All right. And when did you move to Jasper? I moved to Jasper in January of 1999. Okay. So you actually moved here after the incident, but you moved here during the trial. Yes, ma'am. So what was the significance of that time for you? Uh, the significance of the time, obviously, was you were you were moving into a community in in some sense of um, I wouldn't call it turmoil. It was almost fear. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I was uh, obviously a small business owner, and with respect to the community leaders at the time, who most of them are still here, mm -hmm. um, was welcomed immediately. Uh, became a part of some boards and community activities and mm -hmm. a leadership positions like most small business owners who aren't from that town mm -hmm. are asked to be involved in. Okay, tell me some of your, I know you held some awesome, you were, I think, the president of the chamber at mm -hmm. one point. What, what were some of the other organizations? Um, I was uh, <coughs> chairman of uh, Economic Development Board uh, post-1999, early 2000s. I've Currently, I'm chairman at the Lake of their economic, board, mm -hmm. uh, economic development board. Um, I was uh, vice president and eventually president of the um, uh, DP Texas Workforce Commission out in Lufkin. Mm -hmm. It's a 14 county commission. Um, just a lot of it. I'm president of Keep Jasper and Jasper County Beautiful okay. and a master gardener uh, program okay. that we're uh, active in. The downtown beautification projects and all the small communities around here, mm -hmm. and just uh, you know, very active in my church as well. Okay. So. Great. And what's your primary occupation? I'm an insurance agent uh, and financial advisor for State Farm Insurance. Okay. What made you choose Jasper? I was an agent. Uh, I was with the company uh, right out of college and um, worked in the Dallas area mm -hmm. for 12 years. And then uh, had an opportunity to, to um, I guess it's a company promotion to go into the sales side of the company, which is the agency that I'm now working out of. Mm -hmm. I was in Center, Texas, about 70 miles north of here, okay. when um, I was asked to um, take over a retiring agent's book of business here in Jasper. A lot more opportunity, bigger community, mm -hmm. bigger market, and an opportunity to grow for my family. So. Okay. How many children do you have? Two girls. Okay. They still at home or where they're at? Oh, no. Um, one is a master's degree. She's a speech pathologist. She's 27. Mm -hmm. uh, and she works in the Lufkin area and mm -hmm. a little bit here in Jasper. Okay. And the other one is a, a full-time student on her sixth or seventh year. She's 23. Mm -hmm. uh, and she is down at the University of Houston, Clear okay. Lake. Okay, great. You're too young for that. I was very young. <laughs> no, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Thank you for the okay. compliment. All right, let's get started with our questions. Sure. All right, um, so you weren't really connected with the, the murder, but how did you feel when that happened, when you heard about it? I'm sure you heard about it in, in Centerville. Uh, in, in Center, which is only 70 miles north, it immediately was uh, having a new, being a new business owner in 98. Mm -hmm. Uh, and when it happened, mm -hmm. it was almost part of that community as well. I mean, the the blow felt was felt in, in the East Texas community uh, mm -hmm. from day one. The the news media, obviously nationally, um, uh, my folks back in in Baton Rouge and mm -hmm. in, in South Louisiana. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was it was constant dialogue in '98. Mm -hmm. So I knew enough about it to be able to come down to the community mm -hmm. that I was potentially going to end up moving to. Doing my homework, I, I, I uh, talked with uh, Mr. Weatherspoon's father at the time. Mm -hmm. um, almost to the day, I can remember being one of the first teachers and coaches that I met. Mm -hmm. And um, we knew, uh, my wife and I knew at that time, that it was going to be a challenge to move into a, a business sector mm -hmm. of a community that was going through so much unrest. Mm -hmm. But the one tone we got from everybody and mm -hmm. received from everybody was that this town was going to survive. Okay. Um, there was a very strong uh, ministerial allowance, mm -hmm. alliance excuse me, 
uh, in a coalition within the community in the church mm -hmm. um, uh, folks that you could feel immediately. Um, and I think uh, 